with the old and in with the new. 08 Ford Escape has an exhaust leak. So we're gonna check this out and see how we're gonna replace this. Let's see. Start up. Oh yeah, you can hear it. Hear the exhaust. Mm -hmm. So let's get this guy checked out. Our problem here is this muffler's got a hole in it. Big gaping hole there. So that's where all the noise is coming from. So we got our new replacement part. Just uh, replaces this section and sleeves onto here. Let's take a look at that. There is our replacement part. So we're gonna have to cut right here, I guess. Right about here, give or take. And then we slip the new one on. This is our part number, it's a walker. Quick fit, I guess that's what it said, quiet fit? I don't know. That's the part number, 56233. You might be able to order this off of uh, Rock Auto. This replacement is a slip-on replacement for the rusted section. Now this is a good replacement because it doesn't need any welding we just clamp it down and you can do it pretty easily at home if you can get under the car cut the replacement one and slip it on okay with this new exhaust uh, slip on replacement we need to figure out where we need to cut uh, and actually figure out which way slips on where so I got a pair of ears here, and we're gonna measure this. So this is the inside diameter. The, the the sizing doesn't matter. We don't need to know the exact number measurement. We just need to know which end works, which end is gonna fit in. So here it is, actually. So now we just measure this, all right? The outer diameter of the original pipe will be slipping in into this pipe, all right, it slips into this pipe. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now, the next trick, the next thing to know is how far we need to cut. So with this, we know that this original one will slip over this guy. Now what I'm gonna do here is use a point of reference. We're gonna use the hanger. The hanger, on the replacement one and the original one should be in the same spot. So what I'll do is measure from that hanger to here to the end and that's 15 and a quarter. So what we will do here is measure about 15 and a quarter here and mark it. That's our point of reference, 15 and a quarter. So 15 and a quarter is the new piece, but the old piece, this old piece is slipping in. So we need to give ourselves some room. Here we have, here we have about two inches, two inches before it reduces. So we'll give ourselves two inches here two inches, extra two inches. So this will be our cut. We will cut on this line, that way it gives us extra piping to slip into the new one. All right, so let's measure again. So that should be about 13 inches. So original was 15 and a quarter, and now, Give ourselves just a bit of room, about 13 inches. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is cut the piping, and then we'll cut the piping here, and then we'll unbolt it down at the end there. That way we can, at least it'll stay steady while we're cutting. If we unbolt the end first, and then cut, this whole section will move all around and jiggle.
Milwaukee. Porch played very good. whole exhaust system. Yep, it's loose and ready to come out now. That came crashing down. This rear hanger has rusted away. We got both mufflers hanging beside each other. Okay, what we need to do now is remove this gasket. This gasket is corroded and worn out. for a muffler. Okay, so our muffler is clamped down. Everything's in place. All right. Bolt it back down. I'm gonna bring it down and do a little test.
So, it's fired back up, fired up. You hear now? The muffler's quiet. <laughs>